sample statistics and further we will talk about stochastic convers convergence in last class we had already discussed about uh, stochastic convergence uh, uh, three different type of stochastic convergence of sequence of random variable because in random process we will always deal with sequence of random variable so that's why it is very much essential to know how uh, regarding convergence of sequence of random variable so that we had already uh, defined the notion of uh, stochastic convergence so coming to outline of today's lecture uh, just uh, for a better understanding i will first uh, uh, discuss a lot about uh, uh, sample or uh, that sample by default it would be random sample uh, when we are saying random sample that means uh, uh, if you are trying to collect a sample from the population then every outcome of that sample space would have equal opportunity equilibrium situation that means we are forming a sample uh, with the principle of equilibrium likely approach so that's why we are calling it a random sample here each member of the each observation of the random variable would have equal chance to be included in the uh, random sample there is no biasness towards any uh, specific observation of the random variable that's why such random such sample we are calling it random sample okay uh, one is sample another one is random sample is coming so i will discuss in detail about uh, specifically random sample and once we are having random sample from the population then we can define few measures few uh, what we call it representation of, of parameter parameter is directly dealing with population so two kind of thing you can proceed with that suppose you are uh, uh, someone is asking what is the average height of all indian people someone is asking so what you have to do how you can find the average height of all indian people so you need to talk about population height that means you will measure population of each individual per, uh, person indian people and after that you will find average okay so that we will call it parameter so if you deal with population and definitely this uh, uh, process is very tedious here you have to measure the height of every indian okay and then you will come up with average so that average height will denote it by mu mu is the average height okay so suffix we are putting for h so this one is the average height of indian people uh, this one we call it parameter of the this population because here the, this population include it is exhaustive in nature it include everything which is under consider, consideration but if we you talk from computational perspective this one is very tedious task complex task so what you do uh, in place of this population you come up with a, a sample of this population that means sample uh, you randomly choose any people but that random selection happens in sense that uh, uh, any person may be included in uh, the sample so every person every indian is having equal probability to be selected here in the in this uh, uh, sample okay so sample that's why we call it sample or random sample you can better call it random sample so if you are having random sample from this sample if you are willing to compute average then average that average would be not uh, uh, equal to true population uh, that average height it would be not equal to this true true population parameter it would be just we will call it it is the average height so here we denote it by h bar so h bar is what we actually we don't know this one this uh, average height of uh, indian people that one is very tedious task so what is happening that if you don't know can we come up with one estimate of this uh, through some sample you can take a, any sample and uh, from that sample uh, you know the uh, major measurement observation included in that sample so from there you can find the average in that sample okay so that average this average it would be what we will call it it is coming from sample so that's why we call it this one is the this one is sample height simply we will call it sample average or sample mean sample mean because it is coming from sample so this sample mean is talking about it is not exactly equal to uh, population mean but it can talk about that it is one estimate of the sample 
uh, population mean okay one estimate so that concept is coming that from the sample you try to estimate the population parameter so mu is the population parameter this sample mean generally sample mean uh, we denote it by x bar so x bar is the sample mean it is talking about one estimate of the estimate of the population uh, mean mean generally we denote it by by mu likewise another concept is coming that we can talk about variability okay so variability of the data it is actually measured by variance so we can talk about variance so variance of population we generally denoted by sigma square and but it is difficult to compute this variance sigma square so in this sigma square if we come up with sample we are not we are not dealing with a complete population we are just dealing with the uh, sample that include few members from the population so here we will compute sample variance s square so sample variance it is computed from uh, this sample so sample variance notation is uh, S square okay likewise there are various other things uh, will come many so all these uh, will form uh, some parameter these will which are directly coming from population complete population we call it parameter because it is representation uh, representing the population somehow representation of population so we call it these are the parameter and what are these things these are uh, re coming from sample as an estimate of parameter so we call these are statistics and these are coming from samples so also you can say that sample statistics statistics or also you can say that uh, sample so that is the scenario in uh, random sample and statistics what we discussed here so these are the uh, sample statistics these are directly coming from sample it is not uh, uh, directly coming from population it is coming from sample inside the population okay so that is the so first we will discuss about that after we will discuss come we will come back to a stochastic convergence so again uh, we will discuss about various examples three different kind of a stochastic convergence sequence of random variable with various examples and if time permit then we will discuss about central limit theorem and law of large number these are the backbone of large circle theory so we will discuss in detail about so central limit theorem it is talking about convergence in distribution and large sample uh, law of large number it is talking about convergence in probability so those two two things we will discuss in detail okay so coming to first a sample and uh, a statistics I will take first one example that uh, we are taking very small population size okay and from there we will try to come up with uh, all possible sample of size 2 so suppose we are having uh, three numbers 1 2 3 we, we are having just three member in an island okay that one is forming a population uh, population simply three people just for better uh, understanding so if I am asking uh, can you form a sample of size 2 then uh, tell me how many sample would be of size 2 from these two population three populations and three members how many sample of size 2 you can form from the three two, um, members of a uh, person what would be this think it again it would be three or something else you are forming a population of size uh, there is a population uh, of size 3 okay from that population you are trying to form a sample of size 2 that means there would be two box okay sample of size 2 so tell me total possible samples of size 2 from these three people anyone it is not 3 that one is wrong answer just uh, just uh, I have already discussed about principle of counting various growth see it here what situation would be here? Any, anyone? Any other? What would be total number of sample of size 2? It's just simple counting. Remember that uh, when you are forming sample, do you 
prefer ordering and do you prefer what situation would be here simply repetition do you prefer repetition you never prefer, prefer repetition repetition is allowed order order would, would be but uh, also i think uh, that uh, just uh, try to count the number of uh, uh, all those samples simply so this box can be filled up by it is having three options and second box also it can be filled up by three options so total number of samples would be 3 to the power 2 9 9 sample there would be nine samples of size 2 that is the situation here it is coming so what are those samples we can see it like this way so these are the sample one 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 two one three two one two 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 three three one three two three three so uh, here simply you can say that if uh, this one is definitely it is a very small population size and you can say that uh, x you can denote it by this one x x is observing value one two or three and definitely it is having uniform distribution it is not mentioned there okay x is having uniform distribution but for the sake of simplicity you forget about we don't know the distribution of uh, uh, here this x x is uh, observing this value so we try to form observation of uh, sample of size 2 so that means so what does it talk about it is talking about we are taking this one is the first observation and this one is the second observation in first observation uh, it will take value of x only it is just one copy of x and second observation is also one copy of x so simply we we can say that x1 will take they will observe the same value of x so that's why x1 will have the same distribution what x is having x2 would have also same distribution of what x is having so simply we can say that uh, it is what kind of it is forming a random you will simply say that it is a random sample it is way to denote random sample of size 2 and simply you can say that here uh, you may raise a question why we are writing like this way if it is a random sample of size 2 and then why capital letters are coming here because these are clear random variable uh, it is random sample but a random variable here uh, there are uh, it can observe various value so those are the observed value these are the observed value of the random sample of size 2 these are the only so because here population size is finite so that's why we are having a sample finite number of sample of size 2 okay you can count these would be 9 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 there are 9 samples of size 2 we can observe from this population okay so what is happening that is so now onward when we do uh, describes uh, sample of uh, 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 <laughs> random variable observation of random variable uh, whose distribution we don't know so generally we denote it by like this kind of quantity we are taking this one is talking about first observation this one is talking about second observation so that's why we are having a random sample of size 2 and if you go up to n then you will say that we are having a random sample of size n so here if you are having uh, all these other possible samples only these possible samples of size 2 are possible for this uh, uh, population okay so simply if i ask uh, can you find uh, mean of this sample uh, this one is the first sample what is the mean of this sample so we have to sum up this value and divide by 2 because sample that was sample size is 2 so that's way so 1 plus 1 divided by 2 it would be equal to 1 so sample mean of this sample is 1 sample mean of this sample 1 2 is 1.4 sample mean of uh, this uh, sample 1 3 is 2 sample mean of this sample 2 1 is uh, 1.5 sample mean as mean of uh, this sample is 2 sample mean of this sample is 2.5 sample mean of this sample is 2 sample mean of this sample is 2.5 sample mean of mean of this sample 3 3 is 3 so these are the all possible sample means these are the all possible sample means for this population okay so we computed sample mean so you may ask question how we compute sample mean you can see it here by averaging the uh, uh, 
observed value of sample okay by averaging okay uh, uh, each observation by uh, um, summing the observed value of that sample uh, and dividing by sample size okay then we are getting sample mean so these are the possible sample means for this population now if you find average of all these sample mean it would be equal to 2 if you average it out it would be equal to 2 and same question if i ask find the population mean what is the population mean so population mean of the, this population would be what that means how many number we observe here three number so anyone would like to suggest what is the population mean Com compute the population mean just it is very simple job sum these three number and divide by three one plus two plus three it, it is equal to six and divide by three so six by three is what equal to two so population mean is two so what we observe here see here we observe that uh, some mean of sample mean or expectation of sample mean or average of sample mean is equal to true mean of the population mean mean of sample means all the sample mean is equal to uh, mean of population or population mean also you can say that so that we observe so that's where uh, sampling approach to estimate population parameter it is very much uh, uh, feasible uh, it, it is one kind of uh, interesting approach that we so what is just we are uh, computing all sample mean and if you uh, find the expectation of or average of all those sample means that would be equal to true mean so here we are simply getting relation like this way uh, mean of sample means sample mean it would be equal to mean of the true population mean of the true distribution also you can say that this relation we are getting it okay so you can ask a question what is the beauty here what is the beauty in general general sense so in general sense simply uh, beauty is that here uh, it is helping when we don't know the distribution of x we don't know the true true, true distribution of x when distribution of x is not known to us so this quantity we can't compute because we don't know the distribution so here distribution this one is unknown so okay so it is unknown we don't know what is distribution so we can't compute expectation of x so what is happening that if we, but we are having a uh, few sample we are having sample of size two three four five depends upon what situation is given there so uh, if uh, we don't know the true distribution of the given random variable then what is happening that we come up with sample and from that sample we define sample uh, mean or sample variance so sample mean here it is having a distribution what distribution sample mean would have it would have a sampling distribution and we will see that uh, sampling distribution is at least approximately Gaussian in nature through central limit theorem we will see it so this sample mean is having a distribution that distribution we are calling it sampling distribution which is approximately normal normal in nature sample mean is having a sampling distribution as approximate Gaussian distribution or normal distribution so that so that's where despite of unknown distribution of x we if we come up with sample then we can come up with a sampling distribution that one is helping to find estimate uh, true mean try to it is giving uh, way to estimate true mean i'm not saying that it is giving way to compute true mean it is giving way to estimate true mean through that sampling distribution that's where this sampling approach is really uh, very much beneficial now another sample statistic i will take variance so here we are taking variance okay so other i had taken variance at least uh, till now am i audible or not okay so another i had already mentioned their sample uh, that variance is also another uh, uh, sample uh, statistic that we define it by you you may notice here sample uh, variance we define it here not by one by n we are defining 
defining it 1 by n minus 1. So I will explain that why it is coming and summation of uh, x i minus yes in place of uh, mean we will take sample mean. Okay, so I varies from 1 to n. This we are calling it sample variance. So, in case of variance, just you define, you might have seen notation 1 by n, but here we are observing uh, n minus 1. In place of n, we are observing n minus 1. So, there is a concept is that why if you are defining sample variance like this way with this this we are calling it special correction and if you are definitely if you are this should be random initial if you are willing to find uh, expectation of this sample variance it would be equal to true variance of the population true variance of the population that means variance of the random variable whose distribution is unknown to us we don't know the distribution we are having data at hand okay so it would be equal to this one so that's why we are defining sample variance like this way if so, you are defining sample variance by 1 by n then it would be not equal to just sigma square there would be one factor that would be factor n minus 1 divided by n kind of factor would be here so that's why in order to cancel that we are defining this kind of situation sample variance we are defining to do that this way this is the way to define sample variance and sample mean uh, we can define that so i have already taken notation of this, so those things so you can see it here like this so here sample here sample variance is having also sampling distribution but that would be not approximately normal because it is dealing with a square kind of things so the sample variance is having distribution that one is very much uh, uh, similar to chi square distribution so chi square distribution is, is nothing just uh, uh, we had already discussed about uh, normal distribution so uh, chi so if you do a squaring of uh, normal distribution so it would be a chi square a square of a normal distribution if you do a square of a normal distribution a standard normal distribution it would be a chi square distribution of degree of freedom one if you are taking two a standard normal distribution and a squaring after that you are adding then you will get a uh, chi square distribution of degree of freedom two likewise as much as uh, a squaring uh, uh, a standard normal distance random variable you are adding here you will get a chi square distribution of that number of degree of freedom so that's uh, it is just derived from it is derived from uh, a standard normal distribution that's why i didn't cover in detail that chi square so sample variance would have similar kind of that chi square kind of distribution so we are coming to that uh, sam uh, sample uh, statistic or we can say that uh, statistical sampling both are equivalent to each other so in large sample theory what is happening that we can see uh, we can see that we don't know the actual distribution so what we what is happening that we can say about the limiting behavior of sequence of random variables x1 x2 x like up to x and it will go like uh, these are the observations uh, observation of a uh, random variable whose distribution is unknown so we have to talk about limiting behavior this of these things uh, in this uh, large sample what we call it that's where sample word is coming large sample that means sample this large word is talking about size of the sample when sample size is approaching to infinity that means uh, infinity simply in sense uh, in practical sense uh, we try to approach to population that means as much as uh, uh, number of uh, individual would be there in population so from the sample we try to uh, sampling approach we try to expand sample in such a way it will cover the complete population so that is the large sample theory okay so suppose we are having a, a sample random sample of size n that means this x1 is the first observation x and xn is the nth observation so in total so here definitely it is random variable in nature we are having n number of random variable uh, as i told that x1 is the first copy of random variable x and xn is the nth copy of random variable x in order to uh, 
form a random sample of size n definitely it is a random variable okay and uh, it is having various observation various observation jointly so jointly we can talk about joint occurrence of this we are talking about so we it is the process of random sampling or sampling from a non distribution of the random variable x and what is happening that this uh, random variable is having mean mu and variance sigma square mu is the true mean that means me uh, if you know the distribution of x then we can compute whatever expectation we will compute that would be equal to mu and whatever variance we will compute that would be equal to sigma square if you know if you know the distribution of x then but if it is not known then mu and sigma again it would be true true uh, mean and true distribution so that that always happens to be our uh, happen to be unknown to generally happens to be unknown to us okay but only we are having this information from this information we can talk about joint distribution of uh, this random sample of size n so it, it would be coming in sense that uh, each observation happens to be independent to other observation uh, practically you always in the random sampling always you say that uh, you never uh, uh, see dependent kind of observation you say that first observation then you go for second observation then you go for third observation but you don't see dependency between any two observations so independent situation we are taking it and each observation is talking about the same random variable same population so that's why uh, uh, each observation would have the same distribution what x is having or what original is having okay so that's why we are saying that the random sample of size n it is iid independent and identically distributed okay so if you are willing to find joint distribution you can easily find due to independent nature uh, you can do find uh, this joint distribution of x1 to xn as a product of individual distribution but now other situation is here assumption independent due to independent it will be factored into individual one individual one so that's where it is so this one is talking about joint distribution of random sample of size 2 n okay now this is the random sample of size n so if you are having this kind of situation for a, a random variable whose distribution is unknown to us then we can define various statistics or sample statistics what are those first one is sum the all random all the observation of the random sample of size n and divide by n what is the name of this one simply we call it averaging out this one is the average or mean of the rent it is coming from random sample so this quantity we are calling it sample mean this one is the sample mean in short summation notation you can write it like this way okay this one this we are calling it random sample and now likewise also we can define sample variance sample variance so what we do here we deviate each observation of the random sample by sample mean and do a squaring do a square and sum it up from 1 to n that n is the sample size okay and we divide it by after that uh, in place of n we are dividing it by n minus 1 in order to uh, make it unbiased uh, sample variance uh, unbiased, unbiased statistics so that's why or unbiased estimator of variance so that's why we are taking this okay so this is the sample variance simply i would like to say that uh, if you you can get another representation of same thing like this way this is the another representation uh, it might be complicated uh, little bit algebra you need and if you simplify this quantity would be equal to this quantity uh, it is having a meaning why i have taken it uh, but uh, this one is more simpler it is basic one so this one is the sample mean what we call it and this one is the sample variance what we have defined from given sample of size n so if we are having sample this sample statistic we can find uh, various thing and due to iid nature of this random sample we can find various things what are those things first we can find if you are willing to find uh, mean, mean of the sample mean it would be equal to mu how you may raise a question so it is very much easy to see from the definition of sample mean we say that each xi is a copy of x whose distribution is unknown to us and that's why x1 xi will have the same distribution what what x is having so from there we can say that the mean of xi would be the same what x is having so that's why uh, from this uh, here mu is the mean of x 
so we can say that uh, mean of xi would be equal to mu as well and likewise variance of xi would be equal to uh, sigma square variance of xy xi would be equal to uh, variance of x that one is sigma square why because of this iid assumption simply this iid assumption is very powerful assumption that we call it independent and identically distributed okay so here we say that variance of xi is equal to variance of x that one is equal to sigma square so likewise uh, expectation of xi equal to expectation of x and that one is mu but mu these are the true things which is unknown to us we need to estimate it okay so that we estimate through sample mean so if you are willing to find uh, expectation of this sample mean so how you will find here easily from the definition of sample mean uh, you can find it like this way so apply the expectation operator uh, operator both side so it would be equal to simply xn you can put it here so if you apply as expectation operator both side so 1 by n is what it is a non random in nature it is just determinant in nature so it will come out and only we will have what expectation over sum of x i expectation of x1 plus x2 plus it will go up to xn okay and we know that uh, expectation is a linear operator it is a linear operator so it can be distributed to x i so it just becomes 1 by n time uh, expectation of x1 plus expectation of x2 plus expectation of xn likewise expectation of xn or uh, each xi we had already uh, under the id assumption we had already assumed that each xi is having the same uh, expectation because all each xi is having the same distribution what x is having because it is a sample of x that's why we are taking that assumption so that's why uh, we it means that we are summing mu n times so overall we will have n times mu divided by n and and hence we observe that the mean of sample mean it is equal to true mean mean of the sample mean is equal to true mean that relation we are getting thanks to id assumption now next if you are willing to find variance of sample mean in the similar fashion you can compute variance of sample mean it is very easy to see variance from the definition you can again you, you can go back to definition uh, so so variance is what it is uh, uh, not a linear operator variance but uh, uh, it is distributed uh, distributed in nature of uh, uh, independent uh, random variable each x i happens to be uh, independent so here we can see that variance apply, we are applying variance operator on both side uh, in the definition of sample mean so variance of sample mean it would be equal to uh, variance of x bar it would be equal to uh, variance we know that uh, if some variance uh, of this right hand side quantity but n is coming in the denominator n is uh, what it is uh, uh, non random in nature so when it will come out from the variance so it becomes a square because variance is a square quantity we do a squaring you can see the in the definition so that's why here we will observe oh, oh, one by n square uh, times variance of x1 plus x2 it will go up to xn and further you can distribute it it would be equal to n square 1 by n square times uh, variance because due to this independent nature we can distribute this as a sum of variance of xi so variance of x1 plus all these are part of property of variance it will go up to variance of xn 
easily you can see it okay so each again remember that due to this id nature each xi is having the same various sigma square so again we will see same kind of similar kind of scenario that means sigma square we are summing it uh, n times so that's why in numerator we will have n time sigma square and in denominator we will have n square so in total we are getting uh, variance of sample mean it is equal to sigma square by n so that's where that we have already computed likewise also you can compute variance of expectation of uh, sample variance is equal to sigma square and variance of sample variance is equal to uh, it is fourth moment mu 4 by n minus sigma to the power 4 times n minus 3 divided by n into n minus 1 so this uh, mu 4 is talking about fourth moment so we know that fourth moment how we define it is talking about expectation of x to the power 4 that fourth moment so fourth moment expectation so it is related with that so easily you can compute otherwise there is another representation in term of cut tortoise you can represent it like this way or uh, if you are willing to see simpler representation uh, otherwise this 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 one is fine okay so we we can see that uh, this uh, sample uh, statistics like the sample mean and sample variance are having uh, expectation and variance and expectation of sample mean is equal to true mean of the population and variance of sample mean happens to be uh, sigma square by n likewise also we are able to compute expectation and variance of sample variance as well so we are able to compute now through that later in central limit theory we will see that uh, these are having this sample mean is having a distribution that distribution we will call it sampling distribution for sample mean okay and this sampling distribution for sample mean is approximately gaussian in nature or normal in nature so that's why despite of a non distribution of x we can estimate parameter of x that means mu and uh, sigma square by using sampling distribution of sample mean that happens to be gaussian approximately gaussian distribution likewise also the sampling distribution of sample variance is what it is approximately chi square distribution so all these are the things later just in central limit theorem it will be resolved so it is it was very much essential to discuss about sample statistics statistics so just two we discussed one is sample mean another one is sample variance you can uh, talk about further various other sample uh, statistics like uh, you can talk about uh, uh, that uh, proportion sample proportion you can talk about uh, uh, sample median you can talk about sample mode there are various uh, sample statistics will come with respect to a given random sample of size n you can define and each random each sample statistic is having a distribution that distribution we are calling it sampling distribution just we have to focus on what kind of nature that sample statistic is having based on that it will have that kind of distribution okay so we know that uh, the unit of of measurement way that unit of sample mean and a random variable x having similar unit so that's way uh, we say that sample mean is having uh, approximately gaussian distribution but if you talk about variance it is having a, having a square unit we do a squaring so that's way uh, uh, what kind of random variable is having a square unit the so chi square distribution so this that's where distribution of sample variance would have uh, chi square sample distribution of sample variance would have chi square distribution okay so all these are part of sample statistics sample and sample uh, statistics so i will take one example that uh, uh, with respect to normal distribution we try to perform the that same sampling approach and we'll see that sample distribution what it would be okay so just for practical visualization we'll see it here so suppose we are taking a random sample of size uh, n when we say that random sample by default it becomes independent and identically distributed so either you call it random sample of size n or simply you can call it id sample of size n so both are equivalent to each other there is no any issue okay once you are putting random sample by default uh, equally likely situation is coming so that's way or you can also say that it is 
n observations from n of all possible n observations that means at a time you are observing n value of the random variable at a time in a that means you are taking a sample of size n that means at a time you are observing n observation of the random variable okay from some distribution suppose here it is we are observing from normal distribution so that's where we know uh, the normal distribution is having mean mu and variance sigma square now let us talk about the uh, sample mean and sample variance of this random sample so here easily we can see that the sample mean and sample this is the sample mean and this is the sample variance we know that now if we talk about uh, what is the mean of sample mean mean so yes you know that if you sum two sample and if you just take two sample then uh, we had already discussed uh, continuous uh, convolution then if you talk about uh, and we had already seen that uh, if i talk about uh, distribution of this uh, sum of two samples then through convolution continuous convolution you can find the distribution of this one easily so that distribution would be also normal in nature and a normal and what is the mean of this sum of these two normal distribution it would be mu1 plus mu2 and what is the variance variance would be sigma1 square plus sigma2 square it would be very it is very easy to find from the convolution approach it is very easy to find that convolution we had already discussed how we define convolution minus infinity to infinity uh, distribution of x1 it is normal it is with uh, times distribution of x2 that one is also normal but in place of x2 what we will take here we will take here we can call it z so z minus x1 and we need to integrate with respect to x1 and that's where it will give distribution of this sum of these two through convolution of the, what we do we can compute and it happens to be normal distribution or gaussian distribution easily you can find it out and if you take a, a two then there is no issue so two is what kind of fourth constant so if i talk about that means z by two call it z by two so here just it would be it would two will enter here inside two would enter here inside so easily you can see that okay so these are very simple derivation easily you can see that all these uh, derivation you can easily find it okay. so here simply i would like to say that uh, here again i would like to say this mean of sample mean it would be equal to mu and uh, they, so oh, here if you, here mu1 equal to mu2 if you take mu1 equal to mu2 all are having the same mu same here mu1 mu2 i have taken it but here mu1 equal to mu2 so it 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 becomes mu1 equal to mu2 equal to mu you can call it so you twice of mu divided by 2 2 2 will cancel out and here what would be uh, here things would be that uh, it would be just divided by 2 we are dividing it out uh, uh, actually divide by 4 2 square would come here so divide by 4 would come here you know that uh, uh, what is the the transformation you might have already seen that if you are having a normal distribution x uh, which is uh, having mean mu and variance sigma square then it implies that if you are taking a linear transformation of uh, this x or f, even affine transformation of this one so what would be distribution of affine transformation of this normal random variable is very simple it will it would be again a normal distribution where uh, when we do a fine transformation then mean will be raised by uh, translated by this quantity b and variance would be raised by uh, what this factor a square times various sigma square that translation is not having any effect over various only this product is having effect so that that situation you observe it here like this way so 
this is talking about uh, transformation of uh, uh, normal random variable and uh, it is very simple all these are very simple here. in the same framework i am talking about the mean of uh, sample mean would be uh, mu and variance would be uh, sigma square also you can talk about uh, distribution of uh, this sum of n random variable sum of n random variable so if i am talking about, you can denote it by s or you can call it sn you are summing n so if i am asking what is the mean of sn mean of sn it would be equal to n time all are all xi is having same mean so it would be n times mu s is again a gaussian distribution sum of gaussian distribution is again a gaussian distribution and what would be variance uh, variance would be again n times sigma square variance of s so here let me write it variance of s would be call it sn here summing number of uh, same so n number of observations so variance of this one would be n time sigma square okay so all these are and likewise variance of sample mean would be sigma square by n okay all these are quantity very simple quantity and here this sampling distribution of sample mean is exactly normal distribution and what would be the mean of that sampling distribution it would be mean and uh, mu and what would be variance sigma square so it is having a distribution the sample mean is having distribution what distribution uh, it is having a normal distribution with mean mu and variance sigma square by n variance is decreased sample for sample mean variance is decreased you could say that it is uh, the sampling distribution of sample mean is like this way and sampling distribution of uh, uh, sample variance is chi square distribution it would be a chi square distribution easily you can say that so all these are uh, meaning of sample and sample statistics other thing we will discuss in the next class uh, regarding